Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with Annie. All right, we have another cooking segment today, um, streaming on Twitch TV. I have browsed some cookbooks this week, found a couple different recipes. Actually, one recipe is from a cookbook. The other recipe is a copycat recipe that um, my daughter Emily and I made, um, made up. So the first one I'm going to be working on is the recipe is called roasted sriracha cauliflower bites, but I call it buffalo cauliflower bites because I use a buffalo sauce, um, not the sriracha. Um, I'm not making the peanut dipping sauce because we prefer like ranch or blue cheese. So that is one thing we're going to be making. And the other one is the chicken quinoa bowl. Um, First Watch is a restaurant I like, I've gone to. I don't think they have any around here, but they have this um, dish called a chicken quinoa bowl and it's delicious. And it's just, it seems fresh and, and light and healthy. Um, so it's like the roasted chicken um, that's cut up, um, quinoa, chop up some fresh kale whenever the quinoa is warm, put some tomatoes in there, season it with some like Italian seasoning, um, and you put a little lemon juice in it. I'm going to make some pesto to go with that because the pesto um, goes along with that. So it's all going to be delicious, and thank you for coming today because we're going to have a good cooking stream. Um, and thank you already for those that have showed up. Looks like Alpha Soul Gaming Studios is here. Eight bits, of course, and Campfire Grill. Um, apparently his hobby is cooking on campfires. Um, so to get started, I have my cauliflower. We have this. We need to chop this up into like bite-sized pizza pieces. And um, ah, can't get it open. Um, I'm already hungry, <laughs> probably because I didn't really eat much. I was nervous this morning. Um, so I'm not going to cut this. Oh, could you imagine if we cooked this whole thing? Although I could probably eat the whole thing. It's really good. To, to do this, to make it, I'm actually going to use my air fryer. I really love the air fryer for stuff like this because it cuts the time down and you don't have to have your oven on at 450 degrees, which then heats up the entire apartment. <laughs> Last week it was warm during the day and um, we had the <laughs> oven going cooking lasagna, which took a while and it made this apartment warm. So um, I'm trying to minimize doing that. So how is everybody today? Hopefully everyone's having a good Sunday. Yesterday was good. We had a good, um, I streamed some Fortnite last night and it was pretty good. We had, had a good stream, um, had some good games. I did a few solos. I did win one solo. Um, the other ones weren't so great. And then we had um, some squads. So we had fun with squads, and we won a couple of them. Um, it was fun. <laughs> it was harrowing, a harrowing experience. Um, yeah. The last one we did, um, I was stuck up in the rafters of a barn <laughs> while the whole squad below me was running around trying to find me. Nobody could see me until I finally was like, okay. This is do or die. I'm going to, I got to get out there and do it. So I went out there and just started blasting. And of course they killed me, but our team got second place, which second place is better than nothing, right? I mean, that's still pretty good, especially considering how squads have been going um, and the whole Fortnite with the changes. Um, So while yes, we want to eat healthy, I think it's also okay to um, have a day where you don't eat healthy. Otherwise, you end up binge eating a whole bunch of stuff you shouldn't. Um, so we had pizza last night. We ordered pizza. It was good. 
I enjoy pizza. Sometimes I make it. Okay. <laughs> um, let me think. What else can I talk about? I can bore you to death with my mindless chatter. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about these cookbooks I'm using. Um, 8-Bits had them. He actually got one for Christmas this year from his parents. Um, they're called Thug Kitchen. And this one's Party Grub. And then this one is Thug Kitchen, Eat Like You Give. Um, and we won't, <laughs> we'll watch our language on the stream. Um, but yeah, they're uh, to the point. They have a lot of good recipes and um, a lot of strong language in the books. Um, but I like the way they put the recipes together. They're very interesting. It's a lot of more vegetarian style foods, I think. I haven't seen a whole lot where there's meat. Um, I wouldn't say vegan, but it is vegetarian style because um, maybe there is some vegan recipes in here. I'm sure there is, but it, it's the whole range of snack foods, meals, even desserts and drinks. Um, so if you're looking for healthier alternatives to any of those, these cookbooks actually have some really good recipes in them. Um, again, it's not anything that um, I am being sponsored by. These are just cookbooks we like to use. And I just like to share things that we like. And, you know, maybe you'll look it up and you'll want to um, use the cookbooks too. Time is on. Thank you. You love my show? Awesome. <laughs> this is, I love this, uh, doing this stream. It's a lot of fun. I'm so glad y'all are here. Okay, so I've got some cauliflower here cut up. I need to mix up some flour and water. And the flour I'm going to use, I forgot to get out. So hang on just a minute. <laughs> hey, Sophie. Knew I was forgetting something. So I'm going to use an almond meal flour. Um, again, it's just a healthy alternative to wheat flour, which, um, you know, you can kind of go with what you, you want to do. I'm going to, I, I, this is an experimentation because I've not really worked with almond flour a whole lot. I have worked with flours that were gluten free and made from other grains or other things that were healthier. Um, but almond will be a new experience for me. So I just put a little water in, I'm going to put a little bit of water in this because we're just kind of making a, a thin batter to toss these in. And I'm not sure how this thickens up quite a bit. Okay. And in, in my batter, I'm going to put a little bit of chili powder. I'm sure that's chili powder, not ch red chili pepper. Some a little bit of paprika, some of our red powders, and then a little bit of cumin. I like cumin. It just adds a nice warm flavor to it. And again, um, I don't measure a whole lot. I kind of eyeball things a lot. Um, and as you can see, this thickens up even more with the almond. Probably have to add a little bit more water to it. Gonna get a little bit more water. Now, 
this cookbook does have a specific recipe. I am looking at the recipe and getting ideas from it. Um, so it says, you know, if you're doing for a group of people, two medium heads of cauliflower, and then also a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of water. So if you use regular flour, that's what you would use. Um, so what I am, let me see, how am I going to do this? I didn't really plan this out real well. I'm going to use one of these bowls and I am going to toss, I'm just going to throw, throw this in here. I have to use my spoon to stir that up and what I'll do is I'll put it in here so that the it strains the excess out and so using the air fryer um, will make it nice and toasty on the outside um, and I've eaten these before and it is actually, uh, the consistency is a lot like um, chicken. It's amazing. I was surprised. At first I was like, oh, I don't think I'll like that. I really did. It was really good. Okay. So I'm just going to put this here just in case there's any excess that drains down. All right, I need to plug this in because I don't think I have it plugged in. Hopefully it's not too noisy. So I'm going to air fry. I have, I have the temp set at 400. I'm going to actually back it down because this actually does really good. I'm going to do 375. Uh, it's set on 20 minutes. I don't think it's going to take 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to start it to warm it up. And hopefully that's not picking up too much sound. I know these mics are a lot more sensitive than other mics, so I apologize. I love cauliflower. And the good thing about cauliflower, it's one of those vegetables that it picks up the flavor of whatever you're cooking. Um, I've seen recipes and I've not tried them, I've always wanted to, is to use cauliflower for taco meat. Maybe I'll do that one of these times, but let's see if this is heating up. Um, all right, let me grab a drink real quick. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to put the rest of this in the fridge. I don't need it sitting out. And I bet you I forgot to get out my buffalo sauce. Okay. We'll worry about that in a little bit. Um, all right, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to put some of these in here. Let's see. This is not a big one. Um, there are um, fry air fryers that you can get that are flat, like they look like a toaster oven. Um, and they work better with a pan. This has a little thing in the bottom of it, a round thing that holds everything, and the air just kind of flows around it, heats up really good, and it makes everything nice and crispy. All right, let me get that off of there. So we have that cooking. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375. I know I was trying to avoid using the oven, but I'm not, I'm going to preheat it because I'm going to roast my chicken in there. Um, 
So I've got chicken, and I cooked a little bit of the edge because I had to defrost it. Um, I'm telling on myself. I forgot to get the chicken out yesterday, so I had to defrost it in the microwave. I don't like doing that. I like to let it thaw naturally, but um, I was a little rushed. I noticed about a half hour before the cooking show, I had forgotten to defrost my chicken. Um, so for the chicken, actually, while the oven's preheating, I am going to get started on my pesto. This is a new recipe for me. I've not made pesto before, so bear with me. <laughs> it could get interesting. Um, I am using the pesto that they have suggested for their, their tomato pesto pizza. So they're asking for two and a half cups of packed basil leaves. I'm not gonna use that much because I don't need that much pesto. Um, slivered, or, yeah, slivered almonds. I need olive oil, water, um, lemon, <coughs> salt, and then garlic. So I think we will start working on some of this because I don't, um, this is the size of the food <laughs> processor I'm using. I think if I, since I'm not making the full big, big batch of it, um, I won't need as many almonds. And we'll put a little bit of oil in here to start with. This is a noisy cooking day. Oops. Oops, it's not on there. I love pesto, and I've never made it before, and I thought, you know, why not? Now's the time to learn how to make it, right? And let me get some garlic. We'll put a couple garlic cloves in here, even though we're doing just a small batch, but you know. From this moment on, love, you will now be love my known garlic. As shark bait. Shark bait. <laughs> Welcome, brother shark bait. Shark bait. <laughs> Enough of the shark bait. Shark bait. Huh? This is one doesn't want to come apart. There we go. We'll try to crack the skin on it. I'm sure you can hear the birds today. They are very chatty. Arwen is complaining because she doesn't want to be in her her cage. She doesn't like it. Beaker doesn't either, but you know, sometimes they need to be. Oh, this also gets just a little bit of water too. Not very much. Kind of just helps with the moisture. And it emulsifies with the oil. Oh, I turn this the wrong way every time. All right. Yummy homemade pesto. And I need some lemon. Get these seeds so they don't drop in here. I really like lemon. I think it just always adds a really nice fresh flavor to things. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna stir this just a little bit, mix it up so that I can get everything mixed up in there. I'm going to 
add some more basil leaves because this is a basil pesto. Gotta have lots of basil. Mm. Hopefully, maybe this summer I'll be able to grow some of my own herbs. Okay, I think I need to put a little bit more oil in here. And a tiny bit more water. And I want to add oops, a little bit of salt. Smush these leaves in. Turn it backwards again, the wrong way again. All right, let's see who is here. Oh, hey, Nikki. Yes, they are very chatty. Um, Octoliptical, hello. Eagle, <laughs> eagle. No, no eagle. I'm teaching you how to, hey, Deedle, I'm teaching you how to cook again. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning how to cook again. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, Arwen is very chatty. They are, yeah. We can cover them if they get too noisy. All right. <laughs> I, it's not too bad. I am going to taste my own. I'm trying to think what it's missing. Maybe a little more lemon. I know it'll make it really good. Whoops. Lemon seed. Don't want to chop down on that. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a second and check out my. Oops. Let me get a spatula. Oh, I should have oiled the bottom of this. While it is an air fryer, you still sometimes have to put a little bit of oil, and I didn't oil oil this. All right, a couple more minutes on those. I've got a little bit of feta cheese. I'm going to put some feta in with this. I think that will add the flavor I'm looking for. There is a brand of pesto that I really like, and that is Costco, their Kirkland brand. Um, and it comes in a pretty big size thing. I really like their, their pesto. So if you don't wanna make pesto, don't wanna go through, it seems to be quite the process. Um, Costco has a really good one. All right, and there we go. That tastes good. Okay, now I've got my pesto ready. Stick that in there. I will need another lemon and I will Need more garlic. Let me clean up this mess. Okay. <laughs> you see this little little guy right here? That is a patch of my G. Um, I've got quite a few. And um, it's for, um, we, we had them made and so we trade. I'm going to step out of the camera just for a minute. I got to get my sauce. 
I just realized what else it was I forgot. See, I'm not together today. Uh, balsamic vinegar for my pesto. Okay, that is what I forgot. It's a brand new bottle. I had to buy a bottle because I didn't have any. I do love balsamic vinegar, though. Uh, let me get this. There we go. All right. And um, I just use a uh, private selection Kroger brand. Nothing special. I do like their balsamic vinegars. Um, let me get another spoon. And I'm going to pull those out and I'm going to toss them in a little bit of... Yeah, there we go. Okay. They're a little bit brown. That's okay. I'm going to put them in here. Yeah, I should have should have put a little bit of oil in there. So, we'll see if I can shake this on here. and then toss it. Okay, and we have a little bit of, let me move this to the side. So I will say the texture of the almond flour is not crispy like regular flour. But it's still delicious. It's pretty good. Um, olive oil. Just this uh, Filip Filippo Barrio, <laughs> however you say it. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so I need to get my chicken in the oven. So I'm going to get a pan for that. Let's see. Hey, McChris. Hey, I see people showing up. Um, oh, forgot this is the pan that has rust on it. So I'm going to just put a little bit of oil on the pan. How's everybody doing today? All right, so I'm going to bake my chicken. I don't like touching chicken all the time. If I can use something else to pick it up, I will. Um, I love Smith's, the grocery store I go to, has these chicken breasts, and they're a fairly decent price, and they're already trimmed. So if I would buy the chicken, I would have cut this section off here. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I can move it over here. Um, so around here is a spot that I would cut off. I've got the olive oil sitting right in the way. And then, yeah, on these. And I would trim any, like, excess fatty stuff that's on them. So I don't have to do that because they've done it for me already. Now I am going...
going to use, where's it at? We have a kicking chicken um, seasoning. And then on top of that, I'm also, there's some, I am going to put a little layer of pesto on this. just like to, I don't know, I like cooking the chicken with the pesto on it. I'm going to put this in the oven because it is preheated. I'm just full of surprises today. <sighs> and you use the oven to put a, a pan in there. It's not very good. All right, so the chicken probably should bake for 30 to 40 minutes, um, just kind of depends on how long it takes. I don't think it'll take probably about 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to put the top on there. Kind of rearrange my workspace a little bit. And I will need this again. I'm going to put the rest of these little cauliflower bites in here, except I'm going to put just a little bit of oil on the bottom so it doesn't stick. I'm going to have to do it like this because Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to put the rest of these in here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the temperature down on it. So I think I had it at 375 or yeah, I'm going to do 350 for air frying and I'll just keep the t that on there. There we go. I'll need this bowl again. Okay. Oh, pff. that scares me. The pan, when it gets to a certain temperature, it pops and warps. <laughs> Scare me. It's almost like the time Sajin and I were playing Fortnite and um, we were doing duos. <laughs> and I know there's a clip of it somewhere. And he was like, I'm like, where are you, Sajin? And he comes running up beside me, of course, in game. And it startled me so bad that I literally, I like was like, ah, oh! like it, it scared me. So it was, it was a, it was pretty funny. <laughs> All right. So I do put, um, uh, I need my knife. I do put some, chop up some tomatoes in the quinoa. I'm not going to start the quinoa just yet because it really doesn't take long to cook once it gets started. Actually, in a little bit, I'm slicing up these tomatoes. And well, actually, I'm going to do a little rough chop on them too. And um, in about 15 minutes, I'm going to stick these tomatoes in with the chicken. Put a little salt and pepper on them, uh, some Italian seasoning. Uh, let me cut it up just a little bit more. A 
like I like roasted tomatoes. Actually, normally I would buy, and I didn't, I didn't think about it, I would buy the fire roasted tomatoes in the can. Those are really good. Um, um, and what's nice is whenever you get this all put together, um, you chop up some kale, fresh kale, and while everything's warm, you mix the kale in with the quinoa. Um, the tomatoes get mixed in, the chicken's on top, and you squeeze some lemon juice on it, and it's just really good. And you put a little bit of feta cheese, that's even better. All right, okay. So I got the pestos done. We've made cauliflower bites. They are delicious. Hey, Sajin, <laughs> how are you today? Um, uh, let's see, for some reason I feel off balance today, like I, I'm not doing everything the way I should be, but it's okay, right? Um, since I'm done with this bowl for the basil, ooh, you know, no, that's too much basil. I was going to say, I'll mix it in with that. I'm going to put the tomatoes in here. I've got to rinse my hands again. I'm going to get some Italian seasoning. That's rosemary herb. Actually, this will be good. I like, I love rosemary. Sprinkle some rosemary on there. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Let's find my pepper. Just a dab of olive oil. And we'll toss that around in there. I am gonna just turn the oven light on so I can see what my chicken's doing. Oh, it's gonna, okay, it's cooking. <laughs> That's what we want it to do. Um, let me throw this away. All right, while we are doing that, we are gonna talk, while we're waiting on that, we're gonna talk a little bit about, and I wish I'd gotten a picture. I'm, I'm gonna have a picture next week. We're gonna have a picture of 8-bits. <laughs> um, oh, do I substitute, you can substitute, substitute spinach for kale if you want. Yes. Um, um, 8-bit, I mean Sajin. I'm sorry about the points, but yes, you can use spinach, you can use kale, you can use any green or whatever vegetable you want in there. I, I like the kale and I think because kale tends to be crunchier. So it holds up when you first mix it in with the quinoa. And that's kind of why I like using um, kale. But if you don't care for the taste of kale, you know, spinach has a milder taste. So yeah, that would work. Um, let's see. He's still stuck a little bit on here. A couple more minutes. Um, oh, I'm going to talk about 8 bits has a beard. <laughs> um, and he has not trimmed it all winter long. I mean, he's may have had it shaped up a little bit. Of, I don't know when, it's been a while, but he has a beard. And next week I will have pictures. Um, uh, so you can just see what this beard is like. And we're going to do a stream. 
and we'll have more details. I've got to come up with a, some more details on this, but we're going to do a stream where we shave the beard off. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to do it. We're going to have him on camera and we are going to, I'm going to play Fortnite. And in between games, we'll shave another little piece off. Um, we may even do like a, uh, a, a sub-a-thon, you know, see if we can get um, so many subs to do, you know, certain, <laughs> certain things. So it'll be kind of the middle of April, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think this is going to be fun. Um, we'll do all kinds of crazy stuff with this beard. Um, so he is just looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just want to make sure I'm not, not missing anything. Um, I know 8-Bits is keeping up on the chat, but I want to check on it too. Um, but yes, so it's going to be fun. I can't wait to do it. It's, uh, we're, we're going to be like, who are you? <laughs> who is this person? Um, but see, with the winters being cooler here, um, it he likes to grow a beard and I can understand you know it's not cold but it's colder than Florida we have had some nights where it did get quite cold um, down into the teens but yeah it's um it should be interesting having having that done on stream and it's starting to get warm enough to where now he's like, it's, it's getting warm. All right, we have more cauliflower bites. I don't know. Those are so good. All right, I am going to put my tomatoes in with the chicken. And I realized I have this pan. I think I broiled something. Oh, yeah. Let me get this out of here for a second. There. It will bake a little more evenly that way. Okay, we'll move those around on there. I'm just dumping them out. chicken over, put these tomatoes here in the center, and there we go. All right, now for the quinoa, seeing if that's still hot. Um, let me move this over here. The quinoa, I have two cups of water, and you put one cup of quinoa in it, and I have just the literally the only bag of quinoa that was left at the grocery store I was looking and looking and looking and I'm like I know it's got to be here with the rice and the beans um, and I decided I went back to the aisle I was determined I'm like I've got to find quinoa um, okay we're gonna turn this on and I looked high, I looked low, and then I looked low again, and there it was. <laughs> uh, do the birds like his beard? Um, be yes, they do, actually. In the words of somebody that comes on the stream, <laughs> the animals like to nest <laughs> in the beard. Um, they not nest literally beaker they like to rub up against it arwen likes to chew on it they 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 do like it what are you looking at me for sophie <laughs> she, sophie's just sitting out here looking at me hi sophie <laughs> she knows i'm cooking all right i'm gonna just these aren't crunchy so 
Hopefully you don't hear them too much. That's really good. Okay, so I have my quinoa. Like I said, I have a cup of it. Um, there is different kinds of quinoa. There is, I think, black quinoa, white quinoa. I think there's even red quinoa. It's, it's a good, it has carbs in it, but it's also not as high in carbs as other things like rice. Um, let me see. What does this have in it? So total carbohydrate, a serving is a fourth a cup dry. Um, so about a cup. Would it be half a cup or a cup cooked maybe? Um, so the dietary fiber is to the 30 total carbs is 30. Now, if you're on a low carb diet, I know some people Deedles is doing, trying to be as low carb as she can. Um, I'm, that may be too high. I've talked to somebody before and they wanted me to keep carbs below 20, like eight carbs in a day. And I was like, you're crazy, right? <laughs> Hey Gamer Mick, welcome, welcome. Oh, there's always food in them. <laughs> yeah, that could be bad. All right, this water's boiling already. I'm gonna turn it, uh, turn it down, and I need to put a little bit of salt in it. And we'll do salt and pepper. I'm gonna throw a little bit of rosemary herb in there. Quinoa is very bland. So like rice, it really pretty much has no flavor unless you add flavor to it. Um, okay, I'm gonna cover that and let it simmer. It takes about 20 minutes for that, 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it's a lot shorter. Let's see, the chicken is cooking. Um, all right, so let me see. Your carb intake is zero to five a day. Yeah, yeah, that's so quinoa would be out of the picture. Um, that's nothing. I mean, I don't know how you do that. I mean, I guess it's keto mainly. But if it works, right, that's what, that's what the... The goal is, it, if it works. Um, <clears throat> so, let's see. Yeah, the beard is going to go. One way or the other, it's going to go. <laughs> uh, oh, carnivore. It's a carnivore diet. Okay. So, different than keto, I guess. Um I mean, I would assume it has some similarities to keto, just the fact that it's so low carb. Um, but yeah, that's, that's not many carbs, zero to five. How do you do that? Because even vegetables have carbs, right? Yeah, that's, I don't envy you. I thought 28 was bad. Yeah. So anyways, if you're just joining and you're curious about where I'm getting my recipes today, and again, I am not sponsored or they do not pay me anything, but these are called Thug Kitchen cookbooks. Um, this one has, um, th they just really all have a combination of things in them. They have anywhere from snacks, starters, meals, um, you know, your entrees, desserts, even drinks. Um, Fun cookbooks, though. They are fun. If you, not all the language in them is nice, but they have really good recipes. I can't wait to try out some more of these. Um, but yeah, there's just, this one is called Party Grub. So like this is good for parties and so on. Um, but they're good. They've got good recipes, healthy recipes. So it's kind of a healthy take on, you know, your normal party food. 
and it's a lot more vegetarian than um, the carnivore diet. I, um, I'm trying to think. What's this one? So yeah, this one is a barbecue. So just for an example, this is a barbecue bean sliders. Um, the burgers are made out of beans. Um, they don't use meat. Um, they have a summer night paella, which actually looks really good. Like some of these pictures, look at this. Isn't that, doesn't that look good? Um, kebabs, like vegetable kebabs. Let me see what it uses. Um, okay, so grilled pineapple and sweet and sour tempa. Um, but yeah, it's, they've got some good recipes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, I prefer the meat too. I would always add meat in. You're not going to find me eating just vegetables. My body doesn't function on just a vegetarian diet. Um, I've tried meal plans that was restrictive and I can't, I can't do it. Um, it messes me up. <laughs> it throws my whole body, my metabolism, everything off balance and then I'm a mess. So I've always had my whole life problems with my sugar dropping on me. Um, nobody could ever figure it out. I've tested my sugar when it would be dropping and it would be in the 20s and sometimes not even register on the, the machine. And that's, that's crazy because I shouldn't have been able to even walk or talk at that point. Um, I think my threshold is lower, but when it drops, it drops fast. Um, so I've been doing really good. Um, and it's funny, I could not eat and my sugar will stay fine, but I could also eat something and whatever I eat, it could trigger something in my body to say, oh, well now your sugar's gonna drop because whatever you ate, we didn't like what you ate. We didn't absorb it. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's always fun. But I, I, the past few years I've been doing pretty good. I haven't really had any problems. And I've always been a person who typically has some kind of snack, either in my Jeep or something like that. Like I always have something with me. Um, I still have that. I'm sorry, I forgot to remove that timer alert for our, I'm not currently playing Seven Days to Die, as you can see. But you can go play Seven Days to Die. That server is always open and we would love it if people would play. We have a couple people that play on it um, kind of sporadically and we are trying to build a fun seven days to die community. Um, we love playing with other people. Um, I think if you like seven days to die or have ever played it and you want to get back into it, come join our server. Um, the other thing about the server is it is modded, meaning there are mods in the server. You don't have to download them. They're already in there, server side. Um, and lots of fun zombies. Um, oh, you're fine. Go right ahead. That's okay. Um, all right, I'm waiting on the chicken and the quinoa. I am going to get my kale out. I just, I had a couple pieces already washed and ready to go. Um, <laughs> oh, they are covered. Arwen's over there complaining. She's like, you covered me, or Beaker, one of the two. <laughs> they are very social birds, and they love being out and about and... Arwen is the little dinosaur bird. She, you walk up to her 
cage if she's out and she runs to the edge and like opens her mouth and tries to get you. <laughs> it's so funny. And she, if you start playing with her toys and she's running after the toys. But she's a fun bird. They're both fun. Beaker loves her apples. <laughs> oh, I didn't chop up any more garlic, did I? No. Let me see. Where did I put my garlic? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna chop up some garlic and put a little bit in the quinoa. Just, just one clove. Uh, try to crack this. Shelby doesn't like it when I bang on stuff. She like gets up and walks away. Okay. I should have smushed it first, I guess. Didn't think about that. Oh, Nikki, I saw your comment. I used to be able to eat whatever I wanted. I could eat all the desserts in the world. Now I don't eat too many desserts. <laughs> I love desserts, but I don't eat them. this in here. Oh, and look, my quinoa is just about done. It's cooking up pretty good. I'm under the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness, I keep forgetting. Okay, so these, this today, I guess you could say, is a, um, a shorter, like the, cook, the things I'm making probably aren't going to take as long. I mean, it, I'm not sure how long all of this is going to take. I didn't time it out perfectly, but um, these are kind of quicker meals, easier. You know, if I'm not streaming, then yeah, I can get this cooked up pretty quick. Um, it's a simple meal. You don't have to make homemade pesto. You can buy your pesto in the store. There are good pestos in the store. And to be honest, the, my brand that I really like from Costco, I really prefer that, even over homemade. It just, I don't know what they put in it. It just tastes so good. Um, but, yeah. So, um... I'm going to check on the chicken. Let's see what I'm doing. Um, tomatoes a little bit. Try to I am going to just check my chicken. I never, chicken is one of those things that I never trust. I want to cook it probably another 10 minutes and then I'll bring it out. Um, let it sit for a couple and then slice it up. 
chop, cut it up. Um, let me just see. Oh, you, the, your friends knocked down the hotel building. Yeah, we had a little town. So our safe zone that we have for seven days, we kind of cut this um, town in half in a sense. So we made part of it a safe zone and then put some things in, in the buildings. And then the other side was not in the safe zone. It was outside the wall. And apparently they had a horde night there one night when we weren't on and um, the buildings got destroyed. And it wasn't in a reset area, so the buildings don't reset. So they're all like demolished. It's kind of funny. Um, okay, this. Okay, quinoa is almost done. I have, so, and I use bowls whenever I make this. I put it in a bowl. Um, I'm going to eat another one of these. So I have my lemon. I will squeeze some lemon on this once we get it in the bowl. And I pick out the seeds. I don't like I don't like lemon seeds. They tend to hurt your teeth. You bite into them. Okay. I think I got it all. Got all the seeds. almost Emily would love this Emily my daughter she loves this making this she probably is better at making it than me she's pretty good she she's a good cook um, so does anybody have any good recipes that they use any healthy recipes um, any things you substitute um, something that would be a healthier substitution for something that's not quite so healthy. Um, I'm just curious. I like getting ideas. I like um, seeing what other people do. Oh, I got hair in my face. Um, so yeah, I would love to hear your suggestions. Where's my quinoa? Spatula. Okay, quinoa is done. Now to see if the chicken's done. Let me see. Okay, this is cooled off. I can put it in here. Oh no, I don't think it's been ten minutes. 303, we'll give it a couple more minutes and then I'll pull the chicken out. Um, we'll set it over here and let it um, rest for a minute while I get everything else together. Then we'll cut it up and put it on top. We'll have a yummy meal. Oh, I don't know. First watch. Did I say first watch? This is kind of where, yeah. If, you're, if you didn't see the beginning part, I was um, talking about a restaurant where I got the idea for this chicken quinoa bowl. And First Watch is the restaurant. Um, I love their food there. They actually have really good food. But um, that chicken quinoa bowl is just so good. Homemade, ooh, homemade cheese biscuits. That sounds really good. Um, kind of like... Uh, Cracker Barrel, I think, has cheese biscuits. Those are really good. No, 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 no. Um, Red Lobster, they had cheese biscuits. But yes, making biscuits and putting cheese in them, that's really good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull this chicken out. I'm pretty sure it's done. We will double check to be sure. Because again, like I said, chicken's always one of those meats that 
I get nervous about. I like to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Yep, it's cooked all the way through. All right, so I'm going to bring this over here. I'm gonna set my chicken here. Well, maybe. And the halfway cut one. Um, so, I'm gonna make up a bowl. Some tomatoes. <clears throat> I'm going to mix a little bit of this in here. Okay, let me bring this over here so you can see. I've kind of put tomatoes kale, and put a little bit of pesto in there, add a little bit of flavor. Let me get my knife, we're going to cut up some of this chicken. Fork out of the way. <laughs> Sophie smelled the chicken being cut. She can smell it and she's like, Ooh, you making food for me? Oops. <sighs> Trying to layer this in here nicely and well. As you can see, that's not happening. Ah. Well, I should have just left it as is. Okay, there's that. We have that. We'll do a little bit of lemon on top. My bowl's not very neat and tidy. <laughs> So, this is, this is what we make. And again, the pesto tastes different than my favorite brand of pesto, but let me give it, let me give it a little taste here. I feel like it's missing something. Let me see another. Oh, it is missing something. Feta cheese. There we go. <laughs> now let's try it with the feta. A little tomato, a little bit of the kale. I haven't tried the chicken yet. Where's my fork? Or my, my knife? Pretty good. All right, so there you have it. It's very messy looking. I will have to make up eight bits one of these bowls so he can have some too. Um, it's really not complicated. You could, you could use um, the fire roasted tomatoes in the can. And like I said, you can buy 
um, pesto sauce. You don't have to make your own pesto sauce. I just really kind of wanted to experiment with that and see what it was like. I've never done it before. Um, it's not bad. Um, there's a lot more recipes in this book I'm going to be experimenting with and um, I can't wait and I may start trying to fix things prior to actually doing it on the, the, the stream because <laughs> then I'm floundering like oh wait I forgot to do this <laughs> or this or yeah um, flying by the seat of my pants I think as they call it So, but because Sophie has been so patient, I'm going to let her come in here. <gasps> yeah, we're going to get, I'm going to get you a treat. You want a treat? Let me get you your treat container that's getting empty. And we're going to move the gate, ladder gate out of the way. Come here. Come here, over here, so you can turn around. Sit. Oh, you gonna lay down? You already doing stuff for me? Good girl. Say, Sophie, hi. Can you say hi? You don't, you don't talk. Sit up, sit, paw. Good girl. Okay, lay down. Good girl. This is Sophie. She is, she's my dog. She's a very sweet, lovable dog, aren't you? You, who loves her belly rubbed. Can you show them what it's like to get your belly rubbed? You want your belly rubbed? Roll up. You want your belly rubbed? Lay back. Oh, now you're not going to do it? Oh, <laughs> she's like, Mom, don't show me my belt. Don't show them my belly. <laughs> So thank you all for stopping by today. This was a shorter stream. Um, it was just simpler meal. I didn't go into some long lasagna making process today. Um, but thank you so much for coming by, for supporting this crazy idea of doing a cooking stream on Twitch. It's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy cooking for other people I've said before. And um, if you ever have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, join my Discord. I'm on there. You can get, get to me through there. And everybody have a great rest of your Sunday. And I will catch you all later on Twitch.